Hello, welcome to the first fully assembled Pandora prototype test. Uh, it still has the cable to my PC, so I can use the console, that's how I'm loading things. I don't use the angstrom distributions yet. So it's that, and the breakout board, and then my PSP power adapter, and that's all that's connected to it, otherwise it's completely independent. So we'll start powering it up. And we'll show demonstrations right from start to finish, so I'll have to type some things in the console, which is a little slow, so you'll be staring at a static screen every now and then. Okay, I'm going to mount the cards. Start with the basic touch screen test, the, the old favorite, do some drawing, oh. hello, hello, okay next I'll do a keyboard demonstration. Now I've run through this once, you can kind of see, bring it closer, analog nubs, shoulder buttons, uh, d-pad, test different buttons, I can't see it on my LCD preview on the camera, but you should see the ones I'm pressing turn green or at least you can notice a slight color change but it works nothing special all the buttons are there and I take a little speaker and put it over the sensor and you can see the lid switch being detected Okay. next up I'm just going to show a PlayStation emulator running this has speakers built in, so this is what it will look like when you're playing it on your own. We have different versions of the kernel, some have better timings, so the sound relies on the timing, so it still skips a bit, so it has some work to do there. But just a demonstration here. So once again, portable. Uh, I haven't gotten him to, to hook up game controls to this one, so it still looked for the external USB gamepad and failed, so I don't have any control. But I think it's fun to take a look at. So there it is. So next I'm just going to show a Quake 2 time demo. Again, I don't have controls on that one, but I do have speaker drive with, with game controls on this video. So that'll be up later.
that's the GP2X version uh, designed for 320 by 240 resolution and then in software it's scaled up to 640 by 480 so we're probably getting about a 40 to 50 percent penalty on the refresh so it'll be a lot faster once we use the hardware in the OMAP and use the 3D OpenGL oh, okay. okay now for something that actually plays It's always so difficult to menu so fast. Well, we'll just randomly pick a game here. Let's see what we got. Let's pick one of the Sonic games. These buttons don't have the plastic coating, so they're a little low, so I really have to dig in to, to get them to press. But of course, on the final unit, they're going to be raised enough that you don't have to go nuts on them. There's no battery in the battery compartment, so the door makes a crunching noise on this FDM case as I squeeze it. Sounds terrible. Okay, this... Exit, and one more little demo. Just for fun, just showing an AVI video playing on M Player. Native resolution has software uh, scaling, but then it gets really slow. We have to start using Neon and and the OMAP hardware. So works well. Scrubs from last night. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.